Welcome to the Amazon. This is the home of the happy peacock. <laughs> I can't get over how clear the water is, man. I know. That's unreal. I thought we had clear water. Hey, welcome to Florida, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is going to be awesome. Man, I bet you can see 50 feet in this lake. That's yeah, you know, I think one of the spots in here that guys were telling me, um, Bernie was telling me, it's like 60 feet deep. In Florida? Yeah. Got to have some good sunglasses for this. Yeah. <laughs> that guy is not spooked, man, at all. Oh, Look at him. Oh, man. Gene's getting some peacock eye candy right now. Dude, he hadn't moved. No, he, he, doesn't even, he doesn't even care. Hi guys, Peter Miller here from Bass to Billfish, and I'm here with Gene Jensen, known as a fluke master on YouTube. He's very adept at catching big bass, lots of bass, teaches a lot of people how to fish, but he's never caught a peacock bass. So we invited him down to South Florida, put him on this lake here, and I'm confident that you're gonna knock this fish off your bucket list today. <laughs> I sure hope so, man. It's been, I'm excited to be down here. I drove, what, nine and a half, ten hours this morning? all the way from Augusta, Georgia. That's dedication, I'm ready. I'm nine and a half hours else, to come man. catch a peacock. <laughs> figure out what we're gonna fish with. <laughs> the always go to, you know. Is live bait. Is a live bait. Oh and yeah. If things get really ugly, I brought live bait like I do on every trip because I ain't too proud to beg. Let me see what I wanna use. I'm gonna start off with, uh, I wanna do some top water, but how do these guys fight? I'll tell you what, the peacock bass tend to fight, I would say, I would describe them as kind of an angry fish. Uh -huh. You know, like they got something to prove, they wanna show that they're really tough, almost like a Napoleon complex. Uh -huh. They got issues, <laughs> and you're gonna find that. When you lip them, I mean, do they have teeth or what do they? The peacock bass have, I'd say, probably 50% more abrasion. You know, when you grab, when you go to lip them, mm -hmm. you'll get your thumb cut up. So the goal is when you actually grab them, you know, to lock down on them. Don't, don't have any leeway in there. With a little bass, you can kind of, you know, let them swing around. Yeah. If they start swinging, they're going to saw a nice little cut in your, yeah. uh, in your hand. It's almost like a three pound peacock bass has the teeth of like an eight to 10 pound largemouth where they're really sharp and big yeah. and they'll just tear your hand up. So just be aware of that. So our goal today is not to get blood on the boat. Wow, look at that. Just trying something, totally off ball, off yeah. the wall. Just watching that rod tip like you were talking about. Those rods are super sensitive, huh? Yeah, using some, what, 10 pound, 15 pound braid on here right now. Okay. Yep, and if you go across that angle, coming right at you, he's right there below it. There he comes. Hit it again. Two of them, two of them. Come on. Two of them. Oh, ah! look at that. <laughs> he was charging it. He was charging it. They're not going to quit. He's back yep. there. The other one's back on that bed. Oh, man, they're freaking aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at them oh, coming. Oh, oh. Come on, dude. They are so aggressive. A surefire way to find a peacock bass in South Florida is to look in the canal systems and you want to look in the shaded areas by the culverts. They love to swim into these little caves, the culverts where the waters run through. Um, it's a great spot. They also come up really close to shore and they make beds and they will protect those beds. You know what they're doing? They're defending their nest yep. and they're kind of so trying to really puff it out. In it. No, they're they'll hit it. They'll hit it. it. You keep doing that, yep. they'll hit it. Look, they're he's still beautiful. following it. Yep. You have to have patience though. Sometimes it might take 20 or 30 tries because they come up, suck it in, spit it out, they blow it off their beds. But if you're patient and you have the right timing, use some braid, you should be okay. You see them going down on it as their gills flare, you want to set the hook. Yep, there he is. Oh, there he is, there he is. They like that subsurface action. Yep. All right, guys, here we are with Gene Jensen, the fluke master with his first peacock bass ever. Is he gonna land it, folks? Is he gonna land it? Look at that. Wow, that is a pretty looking fish. I never get tired of looking at these guys. No. Look at the horns on them. Yeah, I got this. That is so cool. Hey, congratulations, Thanks, man. man. That's awesome. First peacock bass for the fluke master. I like it. <laughs> now I want to go to the I want to go to the places where you fish and catch those giant <laughs> bass that you've been showing me on the internet. I want to look. I want to check that Man, out. Man, that is beautiful. Yeah, that's a female, yeah. and the male's now, gonna have that no, have okay. that hump. So maybe we'll catch the male in a second. You yeah. can drop this guy back when you're ready. And we'll... oh, he didn't take long. <laughs> awesome. There it is. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Thank Off you. the bucket list. Off the bucket list. Nice job. Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's see, let's see if the, uh, the male counterpart wants to play. 
There's a peacock right there. He's looking at my rubber worm. He'll never, by the way, it's so rare for a peacock to eat a rubber worm. There's three peacocks that just came out looking at my rubber worm, yep. watching it sink, and you could probably capitalize on it. They'll probably hit that in a second. A lot of time we do a bait and switch. Yep. Yep, we'll do that. We'll, uh... Oh, yeah, right on that's the lips. Right on the lips. The, uh... That's awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> This is sight fishing at yeah, its man. finest. Oh, this is a bigger one too. Yes, it is. Oh, look at him. Jeez. So that's a male. Yep. Right in the lip. You could see it when it ate, yep. right? Yep. Nice one. Very nice. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, should we go back to that dock or you think we should keep sliding? Let's keep sliding. Let's okay. find some big ones. Yeah. See, I'm another getting, sign of a true professional. I'm getting picky. Oh, they're all over that wall. I got one here. That's a large mouth. Nice little large mouth. And I got a peacock. Look at all of them. Look, 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 Peter, Peter, Peter. There's oh man, we got a them. horde. <laughs> See? There's Holy, there's 10 of them. Ten of them. <laughs> that, that's unbelievable. We found the honey hole right there. Yeah, we'll come back to this one. See, look at that. You come down here to catch peacock bass, and I'm with a fluke matcher catch, catching, a, catching a large mouth bass. When targeting peacocks, you pretty much want erratic, fast moving lures. We like to use jigs with little uh, grub tails on the back. Um, we use Rapalos, jerk baits, shiners are always great. Love taking the family out and kids and myself. I love using shiners. You're always going to get bites if you use shiners. So uh, it's a wide variety, but usually it's an erratic, shark jerky movement, which will get their attention and they'll pile on, sometimes in schools. All right, I got to catch one on some live bait. Yeah, look at all these right here. I'm just going to throw right in here and watch this. Yeah, it's instantaneous. It should be a slam banger. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It's cheating, right? Live bait's not cheating. <laughs> this one doesn't have any orange on him at all. Oh, too little. No, he's got those really strong bars like an Amazon yep. style. I knew I had to take you somewhere where you'd be able to catch him. Hold on, I'm gonna catch one right here. There he is. Oh yeah. I had to force feed him. Yeah, he was a force feeder. <laughs> he did a good job. All right, Peter, get in on this. Honestly, I enjoy putting you on the fish oh, and, and watching this go down. Honestly, that's my favorite thing. Great job, man, another one. Beautiful, golly, they're pretty. Features. I mean, what, what gets me is just the dang colors. I mean, and and I love the little horn on their no, on their head, whatever you call the hump, the, the hump, hump. horn. <laughs> they're unicorns. Yeah. But you know, I, I love the, the hump on their on the male's heads and they're just an absolute beautiful fish. I can see why people just love to come fish for them. And to sight fish for a fish that is bright orange, really? That's almost cheating. We're gonna start hand picking the nice ones though now. Now, now that you got it out of your system, yeah, you gotta That's get a good that good one guy. way up there. I gotta get yep. him. That's a nice one. That was a good one. Look at him swimming at you. See how angry they are? They <laughs> shake. Oh, you almost had a double. He tried to eat that right off his face. There, I got him. Got him double hooked. That's a nicer fish, huh? Yeah. I think that's that's the uh, that's the lunker so far of the day. Yeah, he's just he's a skinny long one, right? Yep. I'm in love. We're basically just running the bank, and and off the edge of this bank, there's a drop off. And uh, the, the large mouth and the peacocks are staging up on that drop off. The peacocks tend to be going shallow more often. That's a large this mouth. Is cool. That's a big large mouth. Oh, he came off. Oh, <laughs> my God, dude. Oh, I missed him too. And we're just throwing whatever to him. I mean, from live shiners all the way up to, uh, to topwater bait. I mean, we've just been crushing them on the topwater. Fishing's fun. Wait, oh, huh? oh, 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 peacock. Oh, yeah. Dude. God. That was sick. <laughs> that was a sick bite. Bass don't have hands. They're very curious fish. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna reach up and grab it with their mouth to figure out what it is. And you've got that split second while they're trying to figure out whether it's worth eating or not to set the hook. And this is a phenomenal lake. I love being down here in Florida. And uh, it's been an absolutely amazing day. Uh, I knocked a fish off my bucket list. You know, peacock bass, I always thought you had to go down to Brazil to catch them and down to South America. But I mean, they're right here in Miami. Wow, I think I got a rattle in this one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you just run in the bank, catching one after the other after the other, and the sight fishing in water you can see 10, 15 feet deep. Gene, it's fun being up here. You can see everything. This water's so clear. Yeah. You can see to the bottom. Butterfly peacocks, everybody's got them. <laughs> you know, Peter Miller is a, is, a, is a phenomenal billfish fisherman, but you get him in this freshwater and he knows a few things. I'll tell you that. Watch me, watch me. Right here, shiner's right here. Oh, that's beautiful. You let it sink. Here it comes. That's a nice one. Got this drag set for hate. 
Dude, that is a nice one. I think I might have to jump down for this one. Looks like he's a male in training or a female. I can't tell. I can't tell if he's got a little hump yet. No. Nice female, a little hump. What a cooperative landing. That was unbelievable. It's <laughs> just like, listen, I want to be on camera. I'm not going to try to get away. Does it look bigger? Got him? Yep. Little guy. You sure? Yeah, I'm trying to call the little ones. I'm trying to get all the little ones out of your way. <laughs> that is not a little fish. It is not. <laughs> Felt little. Uh, I'm says, looking, the bill, I'm look, says the bill fish fisherman. I'm looking at all the ones you <laughs> caught. This one looks like a baby compared to yours. All right. Quite the shakers. See, I catch the little ones. And Gene catches the big ones. <laughs> that's what it's all about, bringing your friends down to Florida to catch peacock bass, Man, and they amazing. score big. Well, Gene, it was great fishing with you today. You did a great job, Thanks. you killed it. Um, oh, man, it was awesome. Came down from Georgia, 10 hour drive, 11 hour drive to cross peacock bass off your bucket list. Yep. What'd you think? Dude, it was awesome. I'm telling you, this was, I don't, I've been dreaming about this for years and, and this was far more than what I expected. You know, those are an amazing and a beautiful fish. I really appreciate and, it. And you killed it. This guy crushed <laughs> me today. He was catching more fish than I've ever seen anybody catch. And your oh, finesse, man. I gotta say, I'm impressed with your finesse, your speed, the quickness of changing lures and noticing little things happening all over the place. And that's what separates a fisherman from a really good fisherman. Thanks. And you're a really good fisherman. Great job, man. Thanks, man. All Appreciate right. it. You got it.